Project Council Goatman. Ben, what is this? What is this? What is this little game? No, honestly, I have no idea. What the fuck is this? I don't this? know where I am. I don't know what this is. I think it's, it's a called, game about. I think it's called uh, Mix Ore. It's Why a game am I mixing you... ore. I, I think it's a mining game. We're gonna like mix some ore. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like Minecraft, but yeah. milk. So, oh, so this is so, so this is Minecraft, and um... we're about to play Minecraft, <laughs> <laughs> made by Karen. <laughs> yeah, as we all know, as we all know, Minecraft is our favorite visual novel. Yeah, yeah, you hear sirens. Uh, he can't move his body, and it's pitch black. And uh, we're gonna we're, simulator. and we're gonna punt some trees. And we're going to try and reach the nether in this episode. Uh, yeah, as we all know, we wake up in Minecraft in a white room that's <laughs> tinted green. And we have amnesia. And and we wake up with amnesia. And we have to punch a coffee cup to get wood. <laughs> <You're sorry. laughs> uh, and we have, we have to I'm craft sorry, a tea cup. All right, we have to cra- craft a cafe only. Cafe only. Some couple out. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> Nagi says hotter. Are you awake? Kentaro said bye. I was so worried. Fufu, what's wrong? Your eyes are as wide as saucers. Uh, where am I? Huh? Kentaro, you have... Amnesia? So, you don't remember anything about me either. Uh, I'm gonna guess you're probably lying to me. (laughs) How disappointing. I wanted to see your reaction when you saw that I had come to visit you. I was looking forward to it. I'm Ayano. Ayano... Cafe a lot. Coffee. I guess you don't remember, but the truth is, you were on the verge of dying. You happened to be in the path of a crazed murderer, and they stabbed you and beat up your head real bad. Alright, this is just a hunch, but she might be that murderer. It was horrible. I'm really glad you're alright. I was worried you might not wake up. Everyone else from our club came to see you, too. <gasps> Doki Doki Literature Club? Touch her butt. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, you perp. I guess that part about you is still the same, even without your memory. <laughs> you are the captain of the soccer club. You love touching people's balls. And would you believe it? I was the team manager. Ha uh-huh. That's not very surprising. No, 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 I'm not surprised. Hella surprised. I don't know. Hella surprised. Kitaro, it's like you've become a different person altogether. It's kind of scary. You keep touching people's butts. Well, I already knew you were a weirdo, though. Is your head okay? No. Shut it, bitch. What? <laughs> what the- Shut it, bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not mad. You should be. I just told you to shut it and called you a bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, it's about time for practice to start, so I'll be taking my leave. You must be confused from the amnesia. I'm sure you'll be back to normal before long. It's okay, no need to rush it. Because I'll be cheering you on. So from here on out, as your manager, no, as your junior, be nice to me, okay? Just act like you always have, even if you can't remember anything. That's okay. If you just do whatever you think feels right, I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh! Um, Kitaro, if you want, feel free to drink the cafe a lot I brought you. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I don't give a shit. Don't worry, it's not poisoned. I wouldn't do something like that to you. I wasn't thinking that until you just said that. Don't worry, I'm not trying to murder you horribly. 
Oh, okay. So, see you later. What the fuck? The girl, you do the, the, the girl who called herself Ayano Coffee went home. She seems to be my junior. Apparently, she'll be back to see me tomorrow, too. I wish tomorrow would hurry up and come. I want to see Ayano again. Why? You just told her to shut it and called her a bitch. I want to see her again. I mean, if you really want to pronounce it correctly, it's Kafiolit. Oh, That's fucking retarded. I'm not saying that. It's French. <laughs> right, so was there a difference in what I said? No. <laughs> Fuck the French. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, uh, <laughs> fuck the French. <laughs> fuck the French. Fuck. It's time to kill the French. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's time to kill the Canadians. It's um. What? It's uh. It's 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 shoot all your problems away by Tom Scott. Just oh. shoot all your problems away. Just shoot all your problems away. Come on, guys. Let's say it again. It's time to kill the Canadians. And then it goes silent, and then it's like, shoot all your problems away. Did I go to sleep already? I guess I don't have to do anything. Come on, guys, and say it again. It's time to kill the Canadians. <laughs> Outing. Yeah! Alright, so this is day two of Minecraft. This is when we start building a house. Good morning, Katario. How are you feeling? Have you calmed down a bit? Show me your panties. <laughs> nope. I was so worried last night. I couldn't sleep. So I'm kind of sleepy right now. But I'm still worried about you. I'm just going to ignore that you casually, sexually, verbally <laughs> assaulted me. But hey, Katario, if you're up to it, how about going outside for a bit? Just for some fresh air. If you keep yourself holed up in here, you only stay gloomy. How about it? I think it's a good idea. <laughs> no way in hell. Oh, you're never going to regain your memory with that kind of attitude. Come on, let's go already. <sighs> it's a nice clear day today. The sky is so pretty. I'm glad I could see the sky with you. What the fuck is going on in the background? It's so sad. It sounds like someone's like tearing paper in the background. Oh, that was me playing Minecraft sounds. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. You've forgotten everything. It's almost like you've gone and left me behind or something. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a sip. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to blame you or anything. Please don't make that face. Although, do you really not remember a single thing about what happened before you lost your memory? Not one thing. I see. So I guess you don't know who did it. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? I hope we're able to catch them. It's definitely not me. I'll even help you look for the culprit, for your sake. Now, if you don't remember anything about them, we don't really have much to go on. But, it seems this is the beginning of your new life. They say there are no do-overs in life, but here you are, about to start with a clean slate. When you think of it that way, your amnesia doesn't seem so bad anymore. Do you still feel like you want your, to get your memories back? Uh, yeah. I see. So you just kind of fucking ignored my shit I just said, so... Uh, kind of fucking rude. If that's how you feel, I think that's the way to go. I mean, this guy has been nothing but rude. <laughs> well, because if it gives me the option, I go for the rude option. Because it's fucking <laughs> funny here. It is your own life after all, not mine. But, like, we haven't seen anything to this degree. Like, usually it's just like, no or no way. This uh, the, the options for this route have been... Let me touch your, let me see your panties, touch your butt, and shut it, bitch. <laughs> like, this is the guy, <laughs> he just turned into an absolute menace. Uh, Senpai, how about we take a trip to school? 
It's a bit of a walk from here, but maybe you'll remember something if you see the rooms. Everyone always called you a genius, so even if you've lost your memory, I'm sure you haven't lost your skill. I want to see you playing soccer again. It's been a while. I'm only gonna look around. Well, it's fine if we just go for a look. Let's head over there. If you want to look around. <laughs> if you want to look around, we walk to school together. <laughs> I learned your ability to play soccer. Or do you anything else? But Ayano stayed by my side without ever looking angry or disappointed. Despite the fact that I touched her butt, asked her to see her, asked her if I could see her panties, and then told her to shut it. <laughs> With that ninja, we were like complete strangers to each other, and yet I felt completely comfortable asking to see her panties. Uh, was Ayano like this back when I knew her too? I'm sure she supported me back then as well. Somewhere along the way, I seem to have started to pay more attention to her smiling face. Go to bed. I'm not sleepy yet. Okay. It's a chest of drawers. Inside. There are explicit photos inside one of the drawers. There are quite a few of, the, a few of them. They seem to be all be of the same girl. I can't really make out her face, but she seems cute. I wonder who took them. Now I'm kind of turned on. Let's masturbate. Yeah, let's masturbate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, that was a good sleep. <laughs> Suspicious. Always with this music. Hello, Kentaro. Did you? Oh my God! There's cum everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for being late today. The club kept me busy. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What am I stepping on? <laughs> it's it's glue. It's it's just glue. I spilled like glue. There's glue on my shoe. Don't worry. We'll be able to make it work. Soccer isn't all there is to life anyway. So everyone has their preferences when it comes to what they like to do. <laughs> For you, it's masturbate to explicit photos you found in the drawer. Me, well, Dad. I like looking at you. Whenever I look at you, I get this strange feeling inside. I think it's called horniness. Oh yeah, that. Oofafoo, how'd you like that? Did your heart skip a beat? <laughs> my, my dick <laughs> Oh, you're such a perv! Kitaru! Why are guys always so perverted? I'm asexual! <laughs> you, you are? I, I'm sorry. Sorry if that touched on something personal that happened to you. Well, forcing girls to do dirty things is bad. No, not just that. It makes you a bad person. Both people have to consent for it to be okay. That's what I think. I think that's what everyone should think, but... <laughs> er, why am I even talking about something like that? How embarrassing. Anyway. Oh, wow, it's already this late. Why was I an asexual <laughs> I gotta get home. Sorry, I wasn't able to stay very long. I have to go make dinner for my younger brothers. I'll see you tomorrow. Today was a good day. I harassed a woman. I think I'm having more sympathy than the. <laughs> yeah, you... <laughs> the last time he was like completely fine, and now he's just a fucking like. <laughs> he's just a complete ass. I love it though. It's funny. Can I go to sleep? I'm not sleepy yet. Okay, I'm gonna save. Probably a good point. Save. Okay. Uh, how about the door? Nope. Uh, how about the chair? It's a chair. Keanu is sitting here. Well, my coat. It's a closet. They're closed. There's some shoes too. Hmm? There's a thumbtack in one of them. Take it out. Hell yeah. It won't come out. It seems like it's been glued down. Someone really went out of their way for this prank. I wonder who did it. Whoever it was, they succeeded in pissing me off. That Okay. 
gonna go to sleep already? Yeah. All right, that was weird. Usually it's a fucking note scrap. What is this shit? <laughs> no, now I want to do that. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee latte. Coffee milk. Today, Ayano told me that she wanted to come over to my house to play, so I brought her. The two of us were alone with the door closed. I was somewhat nervous. Ayano didn't say anything, and neither did I. The mood was just kind of like that. Senpai! Um, I, I... Squeeze! Okay. Ayano wrapped her arms around me. I, um, I love... I know. I know. I'm so glad you really did notice how I felt after all. I wanted to do this for a long time. Being this close to you calms me down. You smell so nice. Hey, Kentaru, you always got the highest grades in the class, and everyone you always focused, always, uh, uh, when you, and you have a dream that when you, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone is always focused on you in the soft club. You are so popular. I envy you. I want in you. But you're always so far ahead of me. <laughs> you got the <laughs> you got the extra length, if you know what I'm saying. I always thought you didn't see me as anything more than a manager. But to be like this is more than just a manager. I'm so happy. Please hug me tight. Push her over. <laughs> hey, you perv, rid of that! Um, do you really not remember when, why you lost your memory? Why you were so close to dying? I guess you really don't remember anything. You're just as resilient as a cockroach? Okay. If only you had died back then! Oh, okay. Why did you just die without a fuss? I'm pretty sure I stabbed you right in the heart with this very hand. Yes, I'm sure of it. Dude, look, they forgot to color her finger. Do you see that? Her finger's white. <laughs> right there. They didn't color it in. That's hilarious. That's, that's, that's a pretty There's good no find. I, There's no way I'd miss. <laughs> I just, I didn't just stab you either. I smashed your head up with a bat. It's pretty weird, actually. I was sure I killed you. I was really shocked, you know. I thought you were dead, but then I saw you at the hospital alive, and I was like, damn it! This is a real minor inconvenience. <laughs> oh, boo boo. As, she's... As she said that, Ayato removed something from her inside pocket. The moment I saw what it was, I tossed her away from me. Ow! You're mean, Kentaro. Pushing a girl like that is terrible. Why are, Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Kitaro, are you up a little bit? Look how much your knees are trembling. <laughs> I guess that means you still want to live. Even though you're nothing but absolute trash. Just what did I do? Snap out of it, Ayano. I actually don't know which one I want to do. I think I'll do this one. Just what did I do? Yeah. I guess you don't remember what you did to me. <laughs> you asked to see my panties. <laughs> uh, imagine what you've done. And you touched my butt. You told me to shut it. Oh, you know what? Fair enough. <laughs> of course I will. An endless amount of teasing and bullying of me every day. That's what you did. So now I'm going to stab you with a butter knife. Show me your panties. Let me cop a feel. Let me take a picture. Let's do it. Stuff like that. Oh, that actually it. Oh, that. Okay. You know what? Fair enough. You can come. Yep. You, you can kill me. It's okay. <laughs> a I, cons I consent to this. <laughs> a grade A genius student who is popular with the girls, and yet you were like that behind the scenes. Oh, so I'm like a movie director. Who would have thought? It was hard on me. <laughs> I know. I'm hard right now. Uh, <laughs> shit, maybe that wasn't the best time to... Uh... Even if I had tried to tell everyone the truth, I probably would end up killing myself anyway. 
No one would have believed me. So I realized that this hellish existence would continue unless I dealt with it with my own two hands. I guess that makes sense why we had those options now, I guess. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. I'll kill you slowly. So, so slowly. After all, I love... Loathe, 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 despise, 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 despise. Hate, 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 hate. Hate you so much that I just can't stand it. I can't stand it. I hate you so much that I want to slaughter you. Ah, 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 this time, this time, this time I'll definitely wring the life out of you. Time to make you all better, senpai. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay, hey, I'll die. Kill. Kill. You're dead. You're fucking dead, dude. <laughs> get, get fucked. Get wrecked. I lunged at Ayano. Ah! I had aimed well. The knife flew out of her hand. The now disarmed Ayano was helpless against me. I don't panic and tried to grab the knife, but I pulled her back by the hair. And then I wrapped my hands around her neck and squeezed with all my might. Ayana was looking at me with a face that was pleading for me to stop. I didn't let up at all. I was definitely going to kill her. Finally, after I felt her body go limp, I released my grip on her. It wasn't enough. She wasn't dead yet. So I grabbed the near my trophy made of metal. And I slammed it into her head. One time, two time, three time. For a while, all I could think about was bashing her head in. That was just about enough, I thought. Ayano had stopped breathing a while back. I had killed her. I killed her because she tried to kill me. It was nothing more than self-defense. A just punishment, I thought. How long had passed since then? Ayano's killer still hasn't been found. Who could it be? Who had killed her? No one knew but me. I disposed of the body well. She probably hadn't even been found by anyone. Today is the day I leave the hospital. I gathered my things and started walking down the hallway. When I saw it, I didn't believe it. In, the, in a room with the door slightly open, there was a face I had seen before. Lying in bed was Ayano. She was covered in injuries. Most of her body was wrapped up in bandages. I'm sure I had given them to her. Ayano's vacant eyes shifted to look at me. I took a step back, startled, but there was no reaction from Ayano. With a smile on her face, she asked, Who? Who are you? Bad ass. Do I have amnesia? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a lovely experience. Let's try this again. Oh, oh. Oh, we got. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a thumbtack. It's going to piss you off. Look, it pissed him off. <laughs> All right, let's come. I mean, go to bed. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Sleepy time, sleepy time, Mr. Heepy sleepy time. Gopolade. How did you say that stupid word was pronounced? Cafe au lait. Ugh, gross. That's grosser than the save noise. <laughs> the interact noise, rather. All right, all know. right. You can calm I down, Ayano. Coffee will let. Or coffee will let. Whatever. Yeah. Calm your tits, Ayano. You don't have to say it. No way. Oh. Um. I'm gonna kill you.
<sighs> blah, blah, blah. Shut it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> One thing you could agree on with this character. And choice? Do I make the choice yet? Oh no, she's gotta go through this. I forgot. She's got, yeah. the, she got the butter knife. Fucking music. Uh, snap out of it. Snap out of it. I'm perfectly normal right now. No need to worry. I guess you don't remember what you did to me. there. She has a lot more dialogue than I think the other ones did. We'll see with the... Karen, do you have, Karen, do you have something going on in your life? Are you okay? <laughs> Except it. That's it. <laughs> Ayano stabbed me. She was grinding the knife deep into my heart. I felt an incredibly sharp pain, as if my organs were being scooped out and lost all my strength. My body became increasingly covered in red. The blood flowing out of me was so warm. It will never come back. All of the things, all the time you stole from me, none of it will come back. And that applies to you as well. You will never regain your life. You can't take back what's been done. That's life. Oh, really? I think it's just a just punishment, Kentaro. Die! Just like that, Ayano led me and walked away smiling. I simply lay there without the energy to move. Had I been deceived by Ayano? Nah, I, th I think you were fine. She had planned all that just for the sake of revenge. She probably had no intention of forgiving me from the very start. I couldn't move at all anymore. Did Ayano hate me that much? I must have been a real jerk before losing my memory. I think you were a jerk afterwards, considering my choices. <laughs> I was the kind of guy that was so detestable as to drive someone to murder. But I didn't know about any of that. I couldn't remember anything. My vision had grown late, had grown hazy, rather. There probably wasn't a point in living anymore. I wouldn't be able to fix what I had caused. Ayano's smiling face came to mind. I think I may have loved her. If we had met under more normal circumstances, maybe we could have been able to be together, go on dates, fall in love, laugh together. But that definitely wasn't going to happen now. I'm kind of busy dying and shit. And I'm pretty, pretty sure, and I'm sure that was already decided by the time I woke up. A single tear ran down my cheek. Staff? I hear sirens. True end. Unattainable love. And there we go. We did it. We, uh... We, bit, we beat Mixore. Yep. Well, uh... What are your thoughts? What did you think? Uh... I mean, I think the idea of choosing what kind of milk to drink is pretty cool. You only have to get to do that. Yeah, I, I really like the gameplay of choosing what to drink. Affecting our life. <laughs> if only. Yeah, I, Man, if, if, is this Arnold really, Palmer changing my life right now? Did it's I really interesting the, that they decided like that it was like a completely different story. There's three stories to this. Like That hasn't been the case with any of the other games, so that's that's weird. That's, that's a nice change. Yeah. I mean, it's cool. Which one was your favorite? <laughs> oh, Nagisa, for sure. Alright. I kind of like the third one, just because... Oh, <laughs> I, I, don't get me wrong. I love the third one. Not a fan of the second one, to be honest. <laughs> well, you, like, you, you didn't like the I mean, don't one? get me wrong. The getting hit by the car thing was fucking hilarious. But... <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> Wow. Can't believe it. Another game finished. 
Look at that. Wow. All right. Well, that's the end of Mixore. So right. we're gonna play a new game next time on the Council of Goat. Right. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. -bye. Yeah, bye.